I didn't believe that the email was like a real offer. I thought it was like some sort of spam thing. And <laughs> I was like, no one would offer me something so cool. I first came up with the idea in 2012. I was editing my first feature and I was reading a newspaper and I read an article that really stunned me and devastated me. It was about a woman in Ireland named Savita Halepanaver who passed away uh, in Galway in a hospital because she died of a septic miscarriage being denied a life-saving abortion. And I started doing all this reading and thinking about how far she would have had to travel to save her life. And that idea of this journey, this untold journey that many women take, is a, it's a global journey. And that was really you know, the beginning for me. I came back to the project because when you know, Trump was elected in office, I felt very quickly that women's you know, reproductive freedom were going to be chipped away at. And I you know, felt a sense of urgency to tell this story. It's a very personal story in that it's focused on this one woman and her journey. But at the same time, you know, I think the personal is political and that like, you know, it's, it's, a, it's definitely a global problem. I auditioned, I read for Eliza and after a couple rounds, I read with Sydney and just getting my, to have my first feature film be not only with Eliza, but with such an important and timely story is just such a huge honor. <laughs> I got this part in a very unconventional way. I wasn't, I've never acted before, um, but Eliza and I had met in passing when I was like 14 um, in my hometown in Buffalo. Her partner was making a film there and I was just kind of hanging out on the outskirts and we met one time, but they followed me on Facebook and would watch me the videos I'd post of me playing music, and they reached out to me. I ended up auditioning and just somehow fell into it, and I'm very happy. It's so surreal and exciting. I think I'm interested in all different kinds of performers whenever I think about casting a film, and they don't necessarily have to be actors. When I saw, and when Scott saw my partner, her music, we were very taken by it and it captured like very authentically like a teenage rage and a teenage angst and you could feel that Sydney had a story inside her you know that she was telling through music you know I just thought you know she could bring something to it and um, I don't know I, I believe that you know, a musician can be an actor, and an actor can be a musician, and people can kind of blend, you know, through different modes of performance easily. I feel very lucky that she trusted us and believed that the project was real and <laughs> that we weren't going to abduct her. I don't know. It's very honored that she would come down and put a tremendous amount of faith in us and in the project. I just know as an audience member, I enjoy movies most in a theater um, and not on a laptop, you know, in bed at night. And I believe in, you know, the power of that experience. So it was important for me. And, you know, I'm thrilled that Focus would take the risk. Obviously, it's an unconventional title for them to add to their slate, but, you know, it means a lot and it says a lot, you know, about the kind of inclusive brand that you know they're you know, creating.